This is the sad story of a lonely rover on Venus that managed to capture the first color images of its surface before succumbing to the immense heat and pressure of its atmosphere. Before these few Venus missions in the 1950s, many astronomers or hopeful alien enthusiasts thought there might lie some advanced alien civilization beneath the surface of Venus. For many years, people did not know what lay beneath the thick clouds on Venus. They would later find out, instead of some advanced civilization, there was a desolate, alien-like hellscape where not even a metal object can survive. Although the craft was only designed to last half an hour on its surface, it ended up transmitting data for over two hours, then malfunctioned due to the conditions, and nothing has gone back since the 1980s. These missions are covered in secrecy and documentation is sparse. This is because they took place in the former Soviet Union and they liked to keep everything private until officials gave the okay to release any news. But luckily, a good amount of news has recently been released so we can get a good outline of this mission to see what really went on as this rover plummeted down to the hellscape of Venus. Space race in the mid 20th century spurred a technological competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. The US set its sights on the moon, the Soviet Union aimed for Venus. The Venera program, space Spanning from the early 1960s to the late 1980s, sought to explore and understand the inhospitable conditions of our planetary neighbor. Primary goals of the Venera missions were to study the atmosphere, surface, and geology of Venus. Armed with robust scientific instruments, each spacecraft faced the daunting challenge of surviving the harsh conditions on Venus's surface. Temperatures soaring above 800 degrees Fahrenheit and crushing atmospheric pressures. Now let's fast forward to March 1st, 1982, when Venera 13 one of the most iconic missions in the series, embarked on its journey to Venus. Equipped with advanced imaging technology, Venera 13 had a unique mission, to capture and transmit the first color images of Venus back to Earth. The descent through Venus's thick atmosphere was treacherous. Intense heat shields protected the spacecraft, but the challenges were far from over. As Venera 13 descended, its camera activated, revealing a surreal and alien landscape. Images captured by Venera 13 showcased a desolate, rocky terrain bathed in an eerie orange glow. These haunting landscapes were a testament to the hostile conditions that tested the resilience of the spacecraft. There were many scientific instruments aboard Venera 13, and they analyzed the soil composition, measured atmospheric conditions, and provided crucial data for understanding the geology of Venus. The triumph of capturing the first color images marked a significant achievement for both Soviet space exploration and our broader understanding of our neighboring planet. Findings obviously destroyed any of the hopes and dreams that some of these alien enthusiasts or astronomers who might have thought there was an advanced civilization below the clouds completely out the window. As Venera 13 fulfilled its mission, it succumbed to the extreme conditions, its systems gradually failing. Yet its legacy lives on in the valuable data it provided and the stunning images it brought back to Earth. Now let's take a more closer look at some of these photos this rover actually took and observe more closely the landing site and the composition of the actual surface. As you can see in this picture, it almost looks like oil is all broken up and that there was a bunch of rock on the top and it's been shattered and all broken up into many smaller little pieces. The rover itself also did have a drill and collected some samples of the soil into a little tube where it analyzed it to help scientists understand what the soil was actually made out of. Later, findings show that there has been recent volcanic activity on the surface and that the surface of the planet itself is most likely still volcanically active. Since these missions, nothing has yet land on the surface of Venus, except a few flybys in the recent years. But in the year 2039, there is another proposed mission to Venus called the Venus Land Sailing Rover. This mission would last about 50 Earth days, and the concept would be to place a rover on the surface of Venus that would be propelled by the force of the wind. If you enjoyed this short episode, make sure to subscribe as we continue to explore the wonders and dangers of the universe.